Dear VRV Pro user, the last training course in Ostend revealed that the program had a sluggish response time. If we consider the program, then the speed of it will heavily depend on two aspects. The first is that during the drawing phase, every change in the piping diagram or the piping layout needs to recalculate that system, and that takes time. Another thing that takes time is the automatic peak load calculation. This is one of the fabulous advantages of working expert mode and uh, default this is also switched on, so again that takes time. I'll explain both of these aspects needed to be revamped or revisited because they showed some flaws. Okay, so um, here I went to the roof and on the roof I edited this heat pump outdoor unit. Now you see that I did a manual resize, a manual resize versus the proposed unit that covers all of the load. You see I have an excess of 1%, but I have a 3 module outdoor unit here. Now I prefer to use a 2 module outdoor unit by resizing this unit, knowing that this would result in a um, capacity shortage of only 1%, but I'm gladly to expect uh, to accept this. Okay, I have also a wonderful connection ratio of so 127% on that unit, so definitely, personally, I would go for this uh, unit. Now, the fact of editing uh, a unit, you see the outer unit with all its indoor units, the fact of editing this unit was uh, taking quite some time. So, the error or the uh, refinement were to the automatic peak load calculation. So, here you see in the program this is by default ticked on. Now, you remember, of course, what automatic peak load calculation is, uh, and we can find some documentation in that blue question mark here. If I take it, I have a very small picture, but it explains it very well, that we can base our selection based upon two principles. Either we cover the maximum room peak load demand, or we cover the automatic system peak load. Now, what is the difference? Here I see that for the room peak load, I will take the worst possible case for room A, which would be 15 kilowatt here occurring at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And in room B, the peak load would be uh, 15 kilowatts occurring at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And for room C and for all other rooms, we see the maximum load and we add up this maximum load. So here it would total uh, 50 kilowatt. Whereas if we use the system that is ticked on by default, the automatic system peak load calculation, well there I will take the peak of the sum rather of all uh, maximum consumptions. And here it so happens that at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, I have the pull down in my uh, building there and I see that the maximum demand during the whole day would be the sum of these peak loads here, the 10 kilowatt, the 10 kilowatt and the 20 kilowatt, so totaling 40 kilowatt instead of 50 kilowatt. Yeah. So this is the biggest sum of units in operation and I will size my outer unit on this biggest sum of unit that would be in operation. You see, all others would have less, uh, so I have to take the worst case. So this is the automatic peak load calculation and we had to revisit it again because if I, okay, I accept this here now for instance, and if I want to edit this heat recovery unit by double clicking it or selecting it and do edit system, then you see it takes seconds now uh, to uh, respond and to build the outer unit to recalculate all of that system the outer unit with its BS box and connected indoor unit and here again uh, I see uh, that I did edit the system and I preferred to have a higher connection ratio of 117 
uh, percent, so a 20 horsepower, knowing that here in doing so, instead of having excess of capacity, I have 3% shortage, but I can live with this, that during a couple of hours in a whole year, I will not manage to maintain uh, uh, um, the, the, the set point of, of 22 degrees, for instance, but that the room temperature would creep up to 22.5. So I'm gladly to expect to accept this. Okay. The second um, issue in recalculation was the recalculation of all of the piping diagram. So if um, I would like to correct this uh, line here, eh, I want to make this line vertical uh, by moving the bottom of it. Well, if I click this, it will take me one, two three four five seconds before the project before the program responds so as a project grows the program became slower and slower and slower so as a temporary countermeasure we knew that we could disconnect the main pipe from the unit and this would keep that system from being recalculated since there was nothing to recalculate now this was becoming uh, a nuisance Therefore, we said, hey, let us make uh, this new button here to temporarily being able to tick off this recalculate outdoor uh, models. You see, uh, the whole tree structure here turns to pink. Uh, so this means that definitely we will not recalculate all of these outdoor units with every change. Uh, so therefore, every change now in the piping, be it now if I drag that pipe or if I make it uh, automatically uh, horizontal and vertical, uh, you see every action uh, occurs really on the spot. Eh? Uh, what of course um, we need to do is that uh, the units can be recalculated and when do we absolutely require the units to be recalculated? Well first of all with the load calculation, secondly with the temperature simulation and surely also with the project validation. Eh? These are the three um, uh, times that we actually have to being able to switch this on and the program will do this automatically for you eh? when you do the uh, load calculation okay let's do it here for instance load calculation uh, this should or could take some time because it is a tall building the exercise here was a 22 uh, floor uh, building eh? so uh, this takes some more time voila but the load calculation has been uh, made and you see that I didn't do anything, but automatically here the recalculate uh, showed on again. Same thing would happen with, uh, with validation and so on. Now, about validation, this is actually a third aspect that we see. You see, now here we have the validate that is within the building commands, but we have added uh, recently also a temporary validation or a let's let's say a um, uh, validation that only applies to um, a floor so you could validate floor by floor and this of course would make it easier uh, to make sure actually that you don't have an error before you duplicate an error so that you don't do not have to uh, validate the whole um, project but that you could do uh, this floor by floor and not uh, you have to wait until uh, all floors between the roof and uh, the lower floors would be finalized. Eh? So temporary validation uh, is also possible to validate a certain floor. Okay in this case here my floor was indeed valid and that's it. Before we quit this uh, video, I remind you that uh, in the about, you can download the manual uh, for the uh, VRV Pro and that uh, on um, page, on the last pages, one of the last pages from page 190, you see that uh, improving responsiveness, okay, the fast floor validation, you have also the recalculation of the outer unit and the drawing, uh, the recalculation of the outer unit and the uh, editing of the outer unit that has been revisited so that uh, definitely now we have a quicker response of the program. So thank you very much for your attention and have fun with VRV Pro in expert mode. Bye for now.